of hearing and speaking good words. Our beloved Lord Jesus Christ saith, Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Give heed now to those which here follow. A good word is praiseworthy, an idle word is better unspoken. A humble word very greatly edifies, a mild word breaketh wrath. A harsh word troubles hearts, a discreet word gives understanding. A sweet, godly word makes glad, a comfortable word is a golden word, a wise word is very profitable in season, a hasty word drives away friends, a loose word is shameful, a sincere word is worthy of honor, a serviceable word merits grace, a prudent word is very precious and necessary to every man who wishes to be blameless in his life. It must be a very good word of edification to be worth more than silence. It is better to hold one's peace than to quarrel. All words are not to be believed, nor to be carried further. To be silent and endure acquires peace and gives gladness. As long as you live, you must learn to suffer, to speak little, to pray often, to aid the weak, to shun the evil. To undergo a little brings much repose. To seek no dignity, to desire no honor, is the straight way to eternal life. Set your trust and hope in God alone. Be humble and merciful towards the unfortunate without exception. Act according to the counsel of God, and turn from evil paths. Thus shall you please God well, and escape the enemy's snares. By God's help grow in virtue, and stand firmly from within. So noble is virtue in a good holy life, that it surpasses all beauty and wealth and strength, and merits with certainty eternal life. Virtue overcomes all malice and the vanity of the world, resists the temptation of the enemy, and compels the weak body to obey reason and the Holy Ghost. God must strengthen us in all virtue, and save us from all sins, that, after this mortal life, we may be made worthy to go into life everlasting. Amen. In all our needs, and at every moment, in every beginning, and in, may Mary, the Holy Mother of God, assist us with Jesus, her beloved Son. Amen. In the year of our Lord, 1456, this has been a production of Alleluia Audiobooks. For more free Catholic audiobooks, please visit us at alleluiaaudiobooks.com or you can Google Alleluia Audiobooks. This CD is free to make copies of and give to your family or friends, but we do ask that you do not alter the original audio. Thank you, and God bless.